Hey, I'm an improviser. And when I perform improv comedy on the stage with my scene partner, I have to be patient. I have to be willing to explore the topic that we're working on in the moment and not try to jump around to different subjects, different ideas. Just take my time and be patient. Sometimes people think improv is all about quick thinking and doing things rapidly and coming up with ideas um, at uh, supersonic speeds. No, it's about listening, being in the moment and being patient, letting things unfold, exploring the details of what has already been presented. Well, this happens in real life too, uh, as a teacher. I'm a fifth grade teacher and in the classroom, you know, a lot of times we ask questions of our students and we, we, we rush, rush them to get an answer or we give uh, tasks for them to do and we don't give them enough time to really explore those tasks. And sometimes I feel like as a teacher, I'm just jumping around to all these different topics, never really exploring one given topic. Now, part of that is kind of out of our control because we have a curriculum to cover and you feel like you need to explore all these different things and you can't spend too much time on it. And that's a shame because uh, just like an improv, it's okay. It's okay to get into the details of what's going on. Guess what? There's a great exercise that improvisers do to kind of explore that patience, to take your time and not be in a rush to move forward. The exercise is called so I'll, so I'll, like so I will. And here's how it works. You really can start with, um, you, you get two people, okay? And one of them set, makes the following statement. Now, it could be any statement you want to, but this is a simple statement that I've, um, I've used before that I've read from a book. Um, it's raining outside. Okay, so one of the students um, that you're working with or adults, whatever you're working with, um, one of them will say, it's raining outside. Now the other person will say, what you're saying is it's raining outside. So I'll bring my raincoat. Now at that point, the first person will say, what you're saying is you'll bring your raincoat. So I'll pack my rain boots. Then it goes back and forth. What you're saying is you'll pack your rain boots, so I'll bring an umbrella. What you're saying is you'll bring an umbrella, so I'll get a map, or whatever it is, but you keep going back and forth. Now, the fun thing here is if you had a whole class of students, you could partner them up and you could have them all start with that same statement, it's raining outside. And then you let them go for a, a minute or so. It doesn't have to be much longer than that. And then you say freeze. And one at a time, you have the partner share where they ended up. Everyone began with, it's raining outside, and then you find out where everyone ended up. And it's really a, a great exercise in uh, exploring patience, not being in so ru such a rush to come up with the next thing, just repeating what you just heard, and then you build on it. Now, you wouldn't do this on stage in an improv show. What you do as an improviser though, is eventually you get rid of the, what you're saying is, and you just, and the so I'll, and you just explore that response. You kind of train yourself, listen fully to what I just heard and then add to it. It's such a great exercise. Uh, there are so many more exercises like that to do, so many more connections. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you wanna hear more about exercises you can do in the classroom or even at home uh, or even in your business to explore um, these different skills of improvisation and in your life. Hope you have a great day.